marine engines are classified into inboard engines, inboard engines, and outboard engines. And the inboard engines are, are electric motors, electric motors, diesel, and gasoline. And the electric motors are divided in AC current and DC current. Yeah. And uh, uh, the diesel engines are classified into two-stroke engines and four-stroke engines. The majority of the inboard engines are four-strokes for marine application. The outboard engines are divided in three sections. The first section is the power head, is where the engine is located, gas or diesel. Yeah, every day are more diesel outboards. Every day, if you when, when you visit the boat show, you found it. Every year in, in the stand of uh, outboards, more diesel engines. Yeah, smaller, not too heavy. That, that was the inconvenience some years ago, today no. And uh, properly refrigerated. And there are diesel engines with radiator, no, with the, no, no refrigerated for salt water. Uh, right now, we are going to talk about that. Uh, the middle section, the section or mid section, uh, is the exhaust housing. In this area, the exhaust is located in order to bring the gases here and outside you have water and gases. The number three, the number three is excellent, is the steam drive or inboard outboard because uh, uh, this is the combination inboard outboard. Uh, the other name for the steam drive system is in out, inboard outboard. Yes, uh, this uh, system is wonderful for high performance. For that reason, if you check the majority of the race boat, boats, they have that combination. The combination of uh, the outboard lower unit with the big inboard engine. The other system is the steam drive configuration. The steam drive configuration, like I explained before, <coughs> the engine the engine is pretty close to the transom, is against the transom, and the outboard immediately outside after the transom. This is a perfect design for race performance. For race boats, uh, why? Because you can you can combine the best scenario of the outboards, good lower unit with for high RPMs, and the the inboard situation for a big engine gas or diesel with too much horsepower with too much torque. Yeah, this is a, for example, this is a typical Volvo diesel engine at the inboard, and uh, the outboard the outboard is a special lower unit normally with double propeller, double thrust, uh, in order to support the amount of torque produced for the diesel engine. Yes, not all the lower units, not all the typical lower units are good for a diesel inboard engine. You need to verify if the lower unit accept that amount of torque produced for the diesel engine. In the moment that you want to repower uh, a boat replacing the gasoline engine for diesel, you need, be, and of course, if you want to use the same transmission, you need to verify if the transmission is enough to support the amount of torque and horsepower produced for the diesel engine. This is a critical, and you need to pay attention uh, in that in that factor, the factor of the torque. You can replace the electrical IPS. Uh, you can replace the diesel engine for an electric motor and you can convert your boat, your boat into hybrid iPod. Hybrid iPod and uh, look, this is the clutch, the clutch in order to engage or disengage the electric motor. We are going to talk later about that. This is another wonderful design. This is the manufacturer. You can check online and verify the advantage of those, of those systems. All right, and now we are going to talk about other wonderful system is the jet drive. The jet drive configuration, that one, uh, it's, it's a wonderful system. Uh, it's basically a pump, a pump that compresses the water and when the water is full compressed, pass through the funnel and the funnel produce reaction and the boat moves in, in the opposite of the, of the jet of water. That's too simple. And yes, internally, internally, you can move the jet drive unit. This is the jet drive unit. This is the unit. And this is the power. The power could be with a diesel engine or with a gas engine. Both of them work perfect uh, for that design. Exactly. This is the, the jet drive configuration. Uh, this is the coupling. 
and you can replace internally here uh, the motor for an electric motor. You can connect instead of the diesel or gasoline motor, you can connect a generator, excuse me, uh, an, an AC motor, AC motor for high torque and high speed. And the AC motor, you have two options. You can receive the power from a generator or you can receive the power from a big inverter. And the inverter connected with batteries and the batteries received from the solar panel system. Ah, this is the hybrid boat that we are going to talk later. Yes, this is the jet drive configuration. Look, the water enter in the bottom and uh, internally the blades of the pump compress the water and after that pass through the funnel, the triangle here, and produce the reaction. The boat in this direction, high speed, high speed, and other jet of water in the opposite direction at high speed. 